Thank you guys all for being here. I appreciate you showing up on a Sunday. Y'all know how much it means to me. I'm going to show y'all how to, um, for those of you that know who I am, thank you for showing up. For those of you that are new, thank you for showing up and welcome. I'm Charles. I'm the founder of the Land Bank team. I show people how to get properties and make money through, through their real estate all over the country. I asked uh, if everybody's ready for the auction because I'm bringing a bunch of people to an auction. On um, Guys, what, what's the date of the auction? May 17th, we're going to an auction. So I just wanted to make sure everybody was set and ready to ready to kind of like ready to go because we're going to have so much fun. It's going to be an epic day. All right. I want to show you guys how to pay your vendors with a credit card. I want to show you guys how to pay your contractors with a credit card. I'm going to share my account. I'm going to show you how I bought a car with a, with a credit card. All right. I'll buy like whatever I could put on a credit card. I put it on a credit card. Financially, I typically keep a lot of things like in rotation. Okay. Um, like, like from a financial perspective, um, I like to keep my money in the bank and then use credit and things like that. So my money can continue to earn money on the money, if that makes sense to you guys. And then use credit cards for things like points float on my cash. So you can wait two to three months to pay for your cards and stuff. That's a whole nother uh, topic. All right, but I don't want you guys talking auction stuff right now. That's just from a challenge I did where we had over 500 people buying properties. That, that's, that's the whole auction conversation, all right? Let's not discuss auction in the chat. I want you guys, I want you guys um, right now, I really want you guys locked in and focused on what I'm about to show you with plastic, okay? Um, I'm gonna show y'all how to add a vendor. I'm gonna show y'all the top 10 categories and we're gonna get right to it, like right now. So I don't even know, this. there's no name to this session. This ain't like free education Friday. This is just me sharing with you guys and sharing with everybody a couple of things. But let's get right to it. Let's go right, like, like right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is share my screen. All right. So let's get to, let's get to the screen share. This is the website guys. Everybody put the website in the chat. Just put the website in the chat. It's plastic P L A S T I Q. Let's put it in the chat, please. It actually locked me out, but I'm, oh, I'm not back. Hold on y'all. Let's get, let's get in. Let's get in. Let me get in the account first. All right. I was sweating a little bit. <laughs> I was sweating a little bit. I was sweating a little bit. Cause I was like, wait, I got all these people on here and I can't, I can't show them what I'm trying to show them. I'm locked out. All right, cool. Let's um we're going to have some fun with this as usual. Y'all know I like to have fun with these sessions. Uh whenever I tell you something just put it in the chat or comment it because we just going to go like absolutely crazy with information. Okay. All right, guys. Um I'm Charles Noonan, founder of the Land Bank team where we all we we have like over 2000 No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have over 2,000 families that have properties through land banks. And more than that, because families buy more than one property. So I'm going to just stay with the 2,000 families because some of y'all went crazy. If you're on the webinar, just you can just put how many properties you got. Actually, if you're on this webinar right now, just put how many, how many properties you have right now. Let's just put that in the chat because I know we're going to go crazy with it. Some of y'all got and you know what? The challenge is over. So it's okay to say how many you, you really, really have. Because I know some of y'all got like, I asked y'all in the challenge to just do one. I know some of y'all went crazy and just went super crazy. So it is what it is. Um, but just put it in the chat. Kareem got four. Uh, who else we got with properties? Who else we got here with properties? Dwayne. Yeah, Dwayne. Two for Sharon. Rocky, four, soon to be five. Trav, okay, I see you, Trav, with one. Candace, 
All right, guys, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right. So this this session is about me just giving you guys information on how you pay, how exactly you pay with a credit card. A lot of y'all know me from the challenge that we did. Uh, whenever I do a five day challenge, I make sure people have properties. I make sure I give as much as I can. And at the end, I'll tell y'all, yeah, Preston got two in, in a week too. I see you, Preston. But what I want to do is just share as much information as I can and make sure you guys get as much property, as much information as I could give in, in five days. At the end of this, guys, I'm going to launch a five-day challenge, a, a, another one where I get to really go intimate, deep, deep, like show you guys two things in this five-day challenge. I want to show you everything step by step, and then I want to show you the shortcuts. All right? So we'll talk about that at the end. But here is um, plastic. I'm sharing my screen, and I'm going to show you guys exactly. I'm going to show you guys exactly. Let's see. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use it. So, so go to the website, plastic, P-L-A-S-T-I-Q. It sounds like plastic, and it sounds like y'all want to be using like some fancy name or whatever. But the reality of it is it's just plastic. I know people there. Uh, it's just plastic. So you can say plastic if you want to, but it is what it is. All right. So here's what you do. You're going to create your account. You're going to upload your credit card into your account. This is exactly how you pay a vendor. I'm going to show you how to pay a vendor. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to pay a vendor. And then I'm going to show you guys the top 10 vendors that you can pay because sometimes plastic will push back. Like I know people that got pushed back from plastic. However, um, you could use a fall, a fallback site we call called Milio. M I L I O if plastic gives pushback, but look, we don't, we don't, we don't like, um, we don't like being rejected. So what I'm going to teach you guys right now tonight, I'm going to teach you guys exactly how through plastic, you can find out and code what they will accept. So you don't have to worry about any pushback whatsoever. All right. So let's get to it. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to payments, which is the first one, and you're going to say make a payment. So for this, these are my vendors that I have in here. Amrock, which is a, a title company. Um, this company is, is one of my landlords. This is like the owner of a property that I own, that I rent out. Um, it's a company that, it's a business that I have, and that's one of my rents. Chicago Motors, it's, it's, a, it's a high end car dealership. And I'm going to show you guys how I sent them a wire. All right. I'm going to show you guys tonight how I sent Chicago Motors, 500 Mitchell Road, Glendale Heights, Illinois. Um, I think it was like seventeen or $20,000 as a down payment for one of my cars. I love cars. I got this huge car collection. As a kid, man, I always used to see these cars and be like, that's my car. That was me. That was me. I was the little kid who would be like, oh, that's my car. I knew every name of every car. So as I got older and really started to create passive income, I just start buying cars like crazy. And then now that I, I, I'm aware of what I could do with land banks, I really went crazy with it, team. So that's just a whole nother, like that's what you do when you get 10, 12, 20, 30, 40 properties. You can do things like that because you have the money coming in. All right. So another vendor that I used, um, the Detroit Land Bank, and I'll show you guys this. Right. So we got Amrock, one of my landlords for one of my businesses. We got Chicago Motors, which is a car company. We have an actual land bank. We got the Detroit Land Bank um, as one and then Detroit Title. Oh, no, we got three title companies. We got Detroit Title and Escrow. And then we have E-Title. Um, Steve Moore, I just put in and Ted Strong, I believe was my attorney. Oh yeah. Ted Strong was one of my attorneys for one of my properties in Birmingham, Alabama. You guys can literally pay anybody you want. So for this, we are going to put, um, let's say property, property to passive as a vendor, everybody put in the chat property to passive. 
property to passive income. Property to passive. Let's put that in the chat. All right. So there's no vendor, of course. So we're adding a new vendor. The top three ways, the, the, top, the top three ways that you can pay a vendor using plastic. Wire transfer is number one. Everybody just repeat it in the chat so you guys understand it, right? I want you guys on this, when you leave this session tonight, I want you guys to understand this stuff in a way that you can repeat it back to somebody else, okay? So, when, so you introducing somebody to plastic, you wanna say, hey, I want you to pay this bill with plastic, right? You get the float, you don't have to pay up front, but they can send a wire, an ACH bank transfer, and a paper check. Wires hit their account in zero to five days. However, you can pay to speed it up. All right, so wires zero to five. ACH bank transfers, zero to five. You get their bank, their routing number, everything like that. You can actually send them automatic clearing houses, what ACH stands for. You can pay them through um, ACH. They have standard and expedited delivery. Wires, and this is super cool, guys, because especially if you're ordering um, large numbers of supplies, right? If you're ordering a large number of supplies, um, you can send your wires internationally. The last way you can pay is through a paper check, which is not so bad because if you're far ahead, you can actually just send a paper check to that vendor and make that payment. So I really, I, I actually use all three. Um, some, some vendors won't send you all of their information. You can send them a check days in advance of your closing, ACH before your closing. Title companies, they really don't care how you, um, how you pay them. They don't mind. All right, so for this, this, this method, let's say you guys didn't do your homework, y'all didn't listen to me, and you took the longest day, the longest time before you went and paid. So you have to ask your attorney, your contractor, whoever it is, you got to tell them to send you an invoice. That is the most important thing to this strategy. You have to tell them to send you an invoice. Once they send you the invoice, you're going to upload the vendor and then you'll upload the invoice. And I'll show you guys how to do that shortly after. So let's just say for this example, we're going to go wire transfer. Okay. Um, no, no, no. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Just for ease of this, let's just say we do paper check right? Because we're all on here from, you know, for the sake of time, right? We're all here. I, I want to kind of just get through this quickly. We'll put in any number, right? And those of you that are following, if you guys uh, follow me and you got this Instagram, you got this text or whatever, you guys kind of know when I'm going to be doing these sessions. Typically, I like to go and share with you guys on Fridays, Free education Friday. I share Tuesday mornings and then I share I go crazy every every Sunday at eight o'clock. Part of it is because we're doing a new challenge called property to passive. Property to passive income. The website is property to passive. It's going to be absolutely nuts like crazy. All right, so let's get into the top categories. So now plastic is telling you these are the categories that we want to use. These are the categories that we support. These are the businesses that we are happy to pay. You'll notice businesses that you do use and you'll notice businesses that you do not use. So here you go. It's telling you, right? So certain businesses that service businesses, we're good with those. We want them. Athletic clubs, golf clubs, yacht clubs, of course, right? So this, honestly, guys, this is the way plastic is protecting themselves from chargeback. They're saying... People that pay yacht clubs or, or the country club fees, right? They're not trying to really, you know, do anything that they shouldn't be doing. They're not trying to scam. They're not trying to do chargebacks and things like that. So Plastic saying, yeah, we have, we, we happy to pay those, right? We'll, we'll put the money up front for those knowing you're going to pay your credit card. Certain industries that are high risk, and y'all know what they are. They really don't want nothing to do with those companies because they understand that there may be some fraudulent activity. They got like some people buy things and just return them on credit cards. So plastic is like, wait, we only going to deal with certain categories. So I'm going to share with you guys right now some of the top categories. 
But look at number two. This is our category, right? This is us. Construction and maintenance, <laughs> okay? Construction and maintenance. And guys, I'm super happy that construction and maintenance is in here because realistically, this is our field. This is one of the main things that we want. This is the main thing that we want to hear, we want to see. Um, construction and maintenance because we're paying for construction. All right, education and child care. So um, financial services and loans. So if you're paying back a bank, things like that. Banks don't want to pay credit cards. Plastic is genius. They say, look, we know those banks are, or the loan payments that you're going to pay. They don't want to take credit cards, right? That's not their thing. However, what you guys could do, you can actually pay those companies with a credit card and Plastic will send the money. Wholesale inventory. Government and utilities, guys, it's tax time. If you ain't got that money, you can put it on a credit card, pay the IRS or pay your tax consultant, right? Um, you'll probably see taxes a little bit lower, but you can pay those with plastic. It'll send a check, a wire, and an ACH, all right? Um, industrial, the insurance industry is huge because you have to have the proper insurances, right? Um, so yes, we, oh guys, so when you insure your land bank properties, right? When you insure your land bank properties, it's important to know that you have to insure the houses if you don't have the money. Well, not most of the time, most of the time insurance companies take a credit card. However, if you wanted to pay it in full to save some money for the year, you can pay your premium in full, put it on a credit card, use plastic, they'll wire the money. Or you even get discounts if you pay your insurance um, with a wire or ACH and if you pay in full. So you can save some money there. Personal services, professional services, rent and real estate. So you can pay rent and real estate. Taxes, you can pay. Vehicle and transportation. I told you guys, um, I'm going to tell you all the top 10 categories and then I'm going to show you my actual account. Uh, so let's just go, for example, construction. Now it's asking, can you be more specific? So you can pay. So here's where you really need this information. And here's where this information really comes in handy. Now you can be specific. <clears throat> for accounting purposes, this is extremely important. But Plastic wants to drill down. They're saying, all right, we want to help support you guys in every single way possible, Okay. So for architecture, engineering, carpentry, cleaning, and janitorial, concrete work, your electrical contractor, I'm building ground up. How many of you, how many of you guys are building ground up? Let's put it in the chat. Let me see in the chat. Who, who plans to develop their properties? Anybody plan to develop their properties? Any, just put ground up in the chat if you plan to develop your properties. We've got over 100 people in here. Just put in the chat, ground up, if you plan to develop your property from the ground up. This is exactly what I'm doing and the challenge that we're doing property to passive income. I'm teaching you guys step by step how to develop ground up like all the way um, because I'm actually doing it in in Birmingham, Alabama right now. I'm going to walk you guys from the permit, how you find the, how you find the land, how you find the perm, how you pull the permit, how you get the architectural drawings, how many copies you need. I'm going to give you all a permit expediter. This challenge is going to be five days of me. Hopefully, y'all don't find me too boring um, because this five days is going to be crazy. I'm, I'm, I might bring the um, VP of American Express. I might bring some people. For those that want to sell properties, I got a national listing agent. I might bring him. But um, either way, it's just going to be packed. So I see a lot of ground up people in here. All right, so, so for my ground up folks, right, it's important that you that you can pay because you may have to pay subs individually sub sub meaning subcontractors you may have to pay so so from the very beginning right it goes from the architect you got to get the drawings they'll draw the house for you then you're going to go carpentry um that's probably covering a lot of the framing and and, and everything else uh concrete work you got to do your footing your rebar then pour the concrete your electrician you may have to pay separately Right. And some people take credit cards, some don't for their work. It really varies sometimes. Some like credit cards, some don't, especially when you're paying a lot of money. Um, you can pay your general contractor, your builder with a credit card. If they don't take 
And that's another thing. Some of y'all don't qualify for loans. Guys, put a, put, put a fire in the chat if you got bad credit. Put a fire in the chat if you're scared. Um, put a fire in the chat. Oh, I got a sweet play I'm going to share with y'all. I got something sweet I'm going to share with y'all right now. Put a fire. No, you know what? We're family. It's okay. You're not embarrassing yourself. Don't be embarrassed um, if you got bad credit. Put a fire in the chat if you got bad credit. And the reason why, that's the first step to repairing it, is that you just be honest and upfront with yourself, and we can start fixing it. Those that are in the challenge now, tomorrow at 8 o'clock, it's going to be like a Juneteenth challenge. But tomorrow night at 8 p.m., I'm actually going to start working on credit and funding. I know it's, it's, a, it's a couple of weeks ahead before the challenge starts, but we're going to start working on funding now so that credit and funding is not an issue. This is a separate challenge. I'm sorry if you've been part of another one where, like, um, we didn't have time to do all of that stuff. Five days goes by so fast. It goes by super fast. But for those that are in property to passive.com challenge, it's going to cover everything. I right, so your general contractor, your heating, your plumbing, your HVAC, right? Your plumbing. All of these team can be paid for with plastic. So now I'm going to create the vendor. Look how easy it is to create the payment. All right. So let's just say we put $5,000 in here. The payment method, let's just say I was using my Navy Federal pay on behalf of, right? Let's say Charles Inc. Invoice number one, two, three, four, memo. Let's say concrete, right? Continue. This is actually, all right. So now look at what it's offering us right? Just look at what's being offered right now. And this is why I love plastic, but I'm going to give y'all some, some killer stuff tonight, right? I'm going to give y'all some killer gems. Look at what it's offering. So it's saying, hey, 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 did y'all forget to send this money out? Because what we could do, choose between our fastest available delivery or schedule your payment for the future. They're saying they could get this payment out by in um, like a day. Right. 15 hours and 27 minutes is what it says. 15 hours and 27 minutes is the fastest that they can get it out for. They'll charge you at fifty four dollars if you wanted to get there. Submit payment within fifty four within 15 hours. You can and you get tracking on the payment. So that's extremely important because now you can send to the vendor and tell the vendor, hey, I sent your payment. Here's the tracking number. It, I sent your check. Here's the tracking number. It's going to be there X, Y, Z time. And it's, it, it, you got to have a signature. And um, I put it attention, Mabel, right? Your AP person. So that's extremely important. Then if you wanted to get there like two days, right? They got two day, deliver, two day service on the check. And it's going to come in your name, right? The check will come in your name. And then they got a free service where they just cut a check and mail it out. It's that simple. And they tell you exactly when it's going to get there. I don't like free. It don't come with no it don't come with no tracking. I like the uh, higher level services because I like the tracking that comes with it. By the way, you can also make this a recurring payment. So plastic goes the extra mile to make this a recurring payment for you. If you wanted to do that, that's extremely important as well. So, um, I'm going to just go with the highest service and this better not send no money. Oh, this is step three of five. Okay, cool. Um, upload the invoice. All right. So now it's asking to upload the invoice. This is where you just upload exactly how much the invoice is for, right? You just upload any upload. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Um, I'm just going to upload an invoice in there, right? The invoice is uploaded. Let's go continue. So here's what it's telling you guys, right? How many of y'all, just put a fire in the chat right now. How many of y'all getting back? Oh, y'all already put fires in the chat. Y'all already put fires in the chat, guys. If y'all getting value out of this, if y'all getting value out of somebody actually taking the time to walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to do this stuff. By the way, when I do my challenge, my property to passive income challenge, property to passive.com, 
I'm not going to have a time limit on the, on the, on the days where I, I kind of limit it. I, I, I'm going to bring back my guy and I'm going to tell him like, we, if we need more time, let us go a little bit more time. Preston, I know you like this, bro, because you can pay your subs with it on a credit card. You get points. These fees are tax deductible. You get all of that, bro. <laughs> you get you get you get to write off the 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 fees. You get the points. Um, the fees are tax deductible, right? Bank fees and everything. We all just did that. But here's how it how it kind of does everything for you. It allows you to review the payment, obviously, before we send it out, because I hope I wasn't going to send no five thousand dollars out right it's charging me these are the fees that it's going to charge you this is important because a lot of times people don't be sharing what the fees are they just tell you what to do they don't they they don't tell you like the fees associated so they just be like oh yeah just use plastic not knowing you're going to have an extra 200 dollars to spend right so here's what it's going to cost the base fee 2.9 percent the base fee 2.9 145 dollars Expedited processing fee, 0.05. Expedited handling fee. These fees are tax deductible. Don't be afraid of these fees. They are tax deductible. Delivery fee, they only charge $1.49. And I think we did, well, handling, shipping, handling, whatever, same stuff, right? But you can break those fees down. Don't be afraid to pay the extra $200. On $5,000, you're probably going to get back um, $50 in points if you're doing like a 1%. Uh, 10% is 500. Yep. You get $50 back in points, but you're going to write off that 200 and you're going to write off, um, your real estate purchase. So Tuesday, uh, it shows up like you get to review everything and guys look, pay with your pay with your credit card right here, right? It's telling you everything. Here's the breakdown of the fees. It's telling you now. Navy Federal, pay on behalf of Charles Inc. That would be a, whatever your company is. It's addressing the exact invoice. You upload this for plastic to approve. Now, plastic works with contra with um plastic works with electric companies, right? Or concrete companies. It shows you the companies. It seems like this is the perfect fit for us. Perfect fit for what we're doing. Every kind of subcategory that we need they actually have yes you can wire funds to a um a ma manufacturer you can wire funds to clayton homes and buy your home with a credit card from clayton homes if clayton homes didn't want to accept the whole thing no problem wire them right send the check can i can i send you a certified check send the check let them cash the check right and now it just takes a you can get it there in two days this is like phenomenal if you, if you ask me, you couldn't get anything better than this. All right, so here's what I want to do. Now, I want to get to my dashboard, right? Um, save as draft. Yeah, I'm going to delete that, though, because I ain't, I, ain't really, I ain't really trying to um, <laughs> trying to go there, right? All right, uh, let's see. Payments. So here, let's look at this. Payments completed. Um, all right. So the car wasn't as expensive as I thought. I thought I paid like 17, 18,000. This is just showing like Chicago motors where I paid $13,857. This is like showing everything, but I, it keeps this level of data because now I can actually look up, um, the invoice. I'll show y'all this one, e-title. This is this one more so pertains to us because I ain't here to teach y'all to go buy no crazy cars or nothing like that. I, no, you know what? I wish we stay together. Land Bank team members, right? We staying together. I got lifers on the Land Bank team. We staying together all the way until y'all 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 start buying like dream items of yours, right? And we're gonna share this information like this. Well, here. Here's a quick example. E-Title. Um, I paid, so this is a title company in Detroit. I paid a, 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 I paid a, an invoice for $14,000, uh, $14,160 and 75 cents. Pay attention guys. I'm gonna show you something. It was submitted processing and then it was sent. It was submitted on 219 and it was sent on 219. So same day I used a MasterCard with this. Um, and, and, if you got, don't worry guys, if y'all do not have good credit, we will go through 
credit and funding. Okay. So the details, Charles Noonan, 4218 Elmhurst. Guys, if y'all see that property, some of y'all can see a property in, the, in, in my background. This is a bundle of properties I bought from the from the Detroit Land Bank. Uh, let's just say I save it as that. Hopefully it goes into my download folder. Perfect. Well, I can actually show you. So look, so look, 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 guys, I'm sharing with you my actual, um, this is like my actual purchase agreement with the land bank. So as soon as they sent me the purchase agreement, I down, I, I downloaded it, I uploaded it. So I added the title company into plastic. Are y'all following me? I'm going to open up for a little Q and a, but are y'all following me? Just let me know if y'all follow me. Everybody just put a one in the chat if you're following me. This is my purchase agreement from the land bank. I uploaded, I don't care about this address. I, I, I don't live there, never did. I uploaded this bundle of properties. This is my purchase agreement. I uploaded it into plastic with the invoice and sent it, okay? Um, so this is the purchase agreement. So you have to upload the invoice. Of course, in real estate, you're going to get a purchase agreement. They're telling me to pay this. Let me let me get to the bottom. Oh, man, this is this is a lot of properties right here. Let me see. Um, all right, so I had to sign it. I'm going to get to the appendix so that will show the properties. Um, they're telling, of course, they're going to quit claim the property to me after it gets paid. All right, exhibit one. These are the properties. 4218 Elmhurst, 4233 Elmhurst, 4267 Elmhurst, Detroit, Michigan, 4274 Elmhurst. This is so that you guys sometimes see a picture behind me of a vacant property. That's this, that is this bundle of properties, and they're all duplexes. So um, I'll show you guys how to do that. But this is the purchase agreement. Um, this is what a land bank bundle of properties looks like. Exhibit A is going to show you everything that you really, really need. Guys, I'm 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 gonna go I'm gonna go deep today with y'all. I'm gonna share something with y'all that you will not get anywhere else. Um, nah, I ain't gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that because it's not fair to my my my. It's not fair. This is challenge material. I'm not gonna share that high level stuff. But um. I'm going to just give a little detail, right? They ask you to submit a performance guarantee, meaning just like $1,000, $2,000 to make sure that you're going to get all the work done. You can include that performance guarantee. You can include that performance guarantee in your plastic uh, upload of the invoice, all right? Um, which is killer, which is killer because you ain't got to come out your pocket with no money. The performance guarantee funds will be returned to the purchaser if, a, a release of interest is recorded for each property. And two, the performance guarantee has not been forfeited for any reason under Appendix 2. The funds will be returned to the purchaser within 30 days of the final such release of interest being recorded. All right, I can't go like too crazy. Challenge people, I'm going to go crazy with y'all, but this appendix is going to tell y'all how to get a bundle of properties like and get the release of interest like super crazy, like killer fast. All right. So now let's get back to, so this is exactly what you uploaded, but here's what plastic does. Oh, this is Jeannie Henna, the director of this position. So she signs the purchase agreement from the land bank. You sign the other side and you guys are good to go. All right. Now, um, it's easy and simple. Anybody got any questions? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got time for like two to three questions. And then I want to offer you guys an opportunity. Um, can't see my share. Here's the share right here. Sharing is off. Sharing is off. Sharing is off. Anybody got any questions pertaining to what I just taught you guys? I taught you guys the top 10 vendors, the top 10 categories. Uh, thanks for saying that's awesome. I taught you guys how to upload, how to use plastic, how you the three options that they give to pay. All right. Now, for those of you that are interested in learning more, right? I see a hand raised. Let me see. For those of you that are interested in learning more, what I want to offer.
offer you guys as an opportunity, right? I want to offer you guys an opportunity to get into the property to passive challenge. Okay. I want to offer you guys the opportunity to get into the property to passive challenge. Um, the website where you go to is called property to passive property to passive.com. That will allow you to get into the actual challenge. All right. Uh, let's see. Do we, do we get any questions? Is this different from paying with Amex or other cards? Absolutely. Absolutely. Very much so different. Very much so. I, I see some of you guys are, are purchasing tickets. Now, if you have been in a challenge of mine before, like, this is going to be different. This is going to be different. I get to go five days with you guys all the way, very deep. I get to share intimately with you. I think I'm only going to bring a builder. I'm not bringing a lot of people. I think I'm only going to bring a builder to the challenge to show you guys how to build. I'm going to bring a guy who shows you guys because I'm going to teach you how to buy land and how to sell it. So I'm going to bring a, um, the national MLS rep who will teach you guys how to sell the properties. I'm going to bring the VP of Amex. And then I think that's it. I'm not bringing a bunch of people. Um, I'm not bringing a bunch of people to the challenge because I really want to teach for five days intimately with you guys. I want to, I want to really be able to like step by step. And I got some, um, I also only for the platinum members, right? For platinum members, I have some workbooks that I'm going to give you guys. So it's good. You, you, you just can't fail when you finish with this one, right? <laughs> when you finish with this one, there's no such thing as failing. Because you're gonna have little checkpoint, like little 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 check checkpoints and check marks as you go along. All right. Um, now, does anybody have any questions? I see the offers here. The reason we are doing yes, it's virtual, and of course, we're gonna go to an auction at the end of it. But the difference with this one, only platinum members are gonna be able to go to the auction. This auction is gonna be unreleased. Um, yes, I gave that. So we go into an auction as it is, but I have a better opportunity for us. Okay. I have like, I got this killer opportunity for us. Um, I, and now y'all starting to see with the information that I have, how, why, why I would have so many properties, right? Why I got over 400 properties and over 34 doors. Um, because it's just like the information of where to get the money, how to get it. And everything else, it's just so easy to kind of like buy properties and increase wealth. So those duplexes that I have, there's four of them, that's eight doors right there. So when I tell you I got 34 doors when I'm up or where I'm up to 40, you guys can actually see how, because I just showed you how with no money, just a credit card and, and using that website, I paid the um the, the title company, I paid the land bank, I paid the performance guarantee. It's so easy to do all of it when you have everything set up that way, right? It's just really not that hard. Now, I'm going to take a couple of questions, but the reason that I only want to take, the reason that I only want to take a certain amount of people, right? The reason that I only want to take a, oh, congrats, Angelina. The reason that I only want to take 30 people at a time is because as soon as you get into the challenge, <clears throat> right? As soon as you get into the challenge, I'm going to have my credit specialist work with you directly. So we're doing probably like 30 people a week. I want to have credit sessions, which we're starting tomorrow night at, at eight o'clock. We're having a credit session. I want to have my credit specialist work with you guys. And y'all know I'm going to do it with the challenge. Don't start until like weeks away. Right. But but for the 30 that signed up today, my credit specialist, we're going to work with you starting now to get you situated, to get you positioned. Then we're going to send you the funding. Y'all know it takes time. Some of y'all got into the challenge and say, hey, I don't got no money or I don't have no funding. And I'm sitting there like. If you had the money, you ready to rock and roll? They say, heck yeah. And I'm like, wait a minute. Back up. How could I have served you guys even better 
And the reviews I got, we got from the last challenge was were off the chain. But I'm starting to think, how could I have served you guys even better? And the way is, you do it in tranches. You let 30 in at a time. From that 30, hey, Angie, I see Angie. Angie, you're back in. Angie is in our first challenge. And now she's in this one. Can't wait. Platinum for me and my son. All right, here we go again with the sons and stuff, right? Here we go again with, with, with here we go again with the sons and the family and everything, right? All right. Hey, some people's sons are their business partners, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So here's what we gotta do, <clears throat> right? It's allowable for everybody to get in. Um, we want 30 at a time. We don't want to go too hot, too much higher than 30 at a time, like per week. And that's because I want to service everybody in tranches. If your credit's good, boom, you just go to funding, right? You get funded before we go. Because once I start teaching you, once you get the information, once you get the environment, the community, everybody's buying, you're going to start buying. Just like it just y'all already know how it works with me. Once you start buying, it starts going absolutely crazy, right? So you can't buy without the money. Plastic shows you exactly how to do it, but I want to just teach you guys exactly how, not just giving the site. So this challenge is not going to be about just giving the websites and then going back into like the perspective of my duties that I have every day. This challenge is about like the step-by-step -step guide on exactly how, exactly why land bank properties are the best, exactly why they're the safest way to invest in real estate, right? You own the house debt free. There's no um, there's no foreclosure, right? You avoid foreclosure with land bank houses. So um, then we got credit check. Some of y'all already put that fire in the chat when I said, how's your credit? Guys, it looked like we down to four, five tickets left. Some of y'all put that fire in the chat. Some of y'all put the fire in the chat already when I said, how's your credit? If your credit's bad, just put a fire. I saw that. So this will this will allow you to get your credit right, get your funding right. And once we start releasing land banks, and I know a bunch of y'all got properties that I, I know that, right? But I want to make sure we got the steps and the blueprint and everything else, and that I'm able to walk y'all through in a session, in a scenario, I'm able to walk y'all through in a scenario or a setting that allows you to understand it in a way that you can repeat it back to me. All right. If we join the challenge, will you show us how to buy auction in Michigan without being a Michigan resident? Right now, it says you have to be a resident. Man, that's an easy one. Somebody tell somebody in here. Send send the link to sign up. All right, Candace, I'll send the link right now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Candace asked for the link. Copy. Uh, let's see. Where are we? I will put it in the chat, but a lot of you guys are signing up already. So I think most of you guys were able to see it. There's the link right there, guys. It's called property to passive property to passive. I just sent it. Uh, I'll send it one more time. It's in the chat property to passive. If you could click on your offers page, you'll see there's like five, maybe like five tickets left, something like that. All right, so you guys have the you guys have the link. Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any questions pertaining to this particular challenge? I'm doing it by myself only because I be I be needing more time. I be wanting to give you guys the level, um, like like baby steps, just to make sure nobody misses, just to make sure nothing gets. Nothing is over anyone's head. So I want to I want to do a challenge where like baby step challenge type of deal for you guys. Does anybody have any questions? Put your questions in the chat or or, or look like. It's one. No. No, Anika. No, nah. It's no a hundred. Let's see. Let me get to the chat. I see some people in the chat. You were just about to, LOL. T, no, that's such an easy one. That's such an easy one. 
So I'll, I'll give you the answer to that. How you buy a property in Michigan without living there? Um, you use a virtual address. I own 34 properties there, right? I just showed you eight doors in Michigan. You use a virtual address. You have your, you either have a corporation in Michigan and you use the corporate, you buy in a corporation that's authorized to do business in Michigan. That's one. Two, if you have a corporation in, let's just say California, TT, where are you from? What city, what, uh, what city or state are you from? Let me know. So here's what you do. You get the Michigan address, right? Or, or if you have, let's just say in California, T, I'm sorry to skip it. That was just too easy. If you have a property, if you got a corporation in California, there's a link in my bio on Instagram. It's Charles J. Noonan on Instagram. There's a link that'll tell you to edit or add, start your LLC, edit or add authorized uh, location. All right, so Florida, right? So now you're going to go to, to the company in my bio to edit your corporation. You do what's called if, um, license. You get authorized to do business in another state. I think it's a foreign entity, right? You do a foreign entity in Michigan. You get a, a mailbox or an address there. And now when you do the, the application, you do the application 123 Front Street, Detroit, Michigan, or wherever. It just has to be in the state of Michigan. So now your corporation is authorized to do business in the state. With that is how you buy the property in another state, if that makes sense to you. Hopefully it does, T. Any more questions? Any more questions? That was a little easy, T. I didn't mean to skip it, but I got some Land Bank team members in here. I got some challenge people in here, so I knew they know the answer. I didn't want to just be like, whatever. I knew they knew the answer, but it, it, you might be new, so I apologize for that. Um, any more questions? Does anybody else have any more questions before we end this session? Any questions about plastic? Any questions about paying with a credit card? Any questions you guys have, I'm happy to answer them for you. And we can get this, we can get this thing going. For those of you that are already in the challenge, yes, the reason you went early is because we want to get you credit, get your credit right. We want to get your funding right. All right. We want to get your credit right. We want to get your funding right. So we'll get you guys in there early. We want to get y'all in there early. Makes sense. Okay, cool. Cool. That's why I want to do. That's why I want to do a session like this where I get to intimately go step by step and exactly how to do it. And if we were in a challenge, I would have shown you how to do it. It's like super easy. All right. So guys, if, if there are no more questions, what's the difference between current challenge and this one? Oh, Rocky, you are in the high level mentorship. You're going to get this information. Um, I got a, you're going to get this. You're going to get this information already. You are in high level mentorship. You'll get it over five days. I'm going to be breaking down a lot of other stuff. I'm going to be breaking down a whole lot of other stuff. Um, like, I don't know if we're going to get to now. We should get to everything. We're going to get to everything. Rocky, you're good to go. You sh you're good to go. If anybody is in that, um, that high level dirt to development, y'all good to go. Y'all got, y'all going to get everything, especially with me. Um, I'm going to share my development plans with y'all. I'm going to share everything, like completely everything. You straight. There's nothing you're going to need. I might, for this challenge, though, coming up, Rocky, I might take people to my development site. So I'm building ground up in Birmingham and a couple of other locations. But I might take some of y'all. I might take maybe just like the higher end people. I might take them to an actual development site. Let them see what it's like. Um, I'm going to just document the process a little bit more this time. So like the dirt, like the um, soil erosion, we have to do the grading, right? Has to be done. The foundation, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just doing this as we go. Like I'm literally telling you guys while my feet are in the mud, okay? How this actually gets done. You got to pull your permits. You got to do your grading, making sure that it's level. Um, what else we got? All right. You got to make sure that it's level. They have to do the footing. Sometimes it's two and a half. Sometimes it's two feet, 12 and a half, 12 or 24 um, inches deep. 
goes around. Then you do your rebar. Then you get the inspection, <laughs> right? Then they pour. Then you do your foundation. Then your framing. It's a long process, but that's why I'm thinking, um, how deep am I gonna be able to go with you guys? But I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it right for y'all, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have so much fun with this. Um, this is the first time that I've ever seen a developer actually. This is the first time that I've ever seen a developer actually take people to a site that he's developing. Like, I don't see that happening. The only time I see stuff like that is when they take in partners, right? They borrowing money from all over the place and they just taking their partners with them. They're getting money from everywhere, bringing all their investment partners. Um, and you see people with suits, with hard hats on, on dirt and things like that. That's all that be. You, you don't see regular everyday people like you and I at a lot of these sites. So this is all about uh, Preston. Come on, Preston. Don't throw me off, bro. He's talking about he liked my shirt. Um, this challenge, though, wait till you see the Juneteenth one. Ooh, ooh, man, you're going to like this one. This challenge is all about, like, really getting your hands dirty. This one is going to be um, come, almost like come from behind the computer in this challenge. It's almost going to be come from behind the desk, take some days off, Come see this concrete being poured. Um, come see the framing being done. Like I'm, like I'm, y'all gonna have a chance to get your hands dirty. Now I ain't getting my hands dirty. I'm getting my feet dirty because I'll be walking around. Um, of course, it'll be insured, and of course, you got to sign waivers. So y'all ain't gonna, you know, get hurt on my site. But we just making sure that we're doing everything safe and doing everything the right way. All right, guys. So for those that got in, awesome. I appreciate it. Um, oh, I see some repeats. I see some repeats. Congratulations to Ange. Congratulations. Hopefully it's okay I say y'all names. Congratulations to Latanya, Lynette, Deidre, Shantae. My guy, Jay is back. Let's go, Jay. Let's go. We got Velma back. Velma is back at it. PropertyThePassive.com. Tim is back. A fool, a fool is back for her third challenge. I, I got I to gotta talk to a fool, for real. I got to talk to a, a fool. We got to talk. I want to make sure you developing cash flowing, right? This is property to passive income. So I'm going to get you all the way to the income piece on this one. But you just must, you just love the information. And I love it. My third. Angie, this is your third too. Let's go, Jay. Let's go. Let's go. Congratulations to all of you guys, man. Like you guys are making the investment and I'm promising you it's going to save you money. Trying to do it yourself, trying to do it yourself. It's going to be so hard. I'm not wishing this stuff on nobody, but y'all know how hard it was for me to get the drawings for this. Do y'all have any clue how hard it was for me to, to, to find an architect for me to work from? I'm in New York. The architect is in Alabama working on his own time, stalling with my stuff, and I got to press him and press him. He's like, hey, if you want your stuff done, just go to Eric at such and such. And I'm like, why you ain't told me that in the beginning? Because, look, I want my stuff done in a week. I'm only building a three-bedroom, 1,200-square-foot 1200 house. I'm paying one seventy nine. dollars I'm going to pre-sale it for two seventy nine, dollars right? I'm going to show y'all how to do it, but... I'm going to show you how to do it fast. I'm going to show you how to do it efficiently, efficiently, right? Meaning it ain't going to be spending two months with one company, then switching and starting over. It's going to be efficient. It's going to be breadcrumb like pick up this breadcrumb from the, from the first one. You buy your land. This is how you buy it. You get your drawings from your architect. This is how much you pay. We got discounted rates. Now you take that down to the, or, or you have your builder take it down to the, um, planning and zoning, have them pull permit. Once you could use an expediter. Oh, we bring in an expediter. We are bringing it. We are bringing an expediter, um, a permit expediter to the auction in May. Y'all better grab her phone number. Y'all better grab her and hold on tight to her because this type of stuff that she teaching, she's teaching you how to skip the line. She teaching you how to get in the elevator, go straight to the top. A lot of times when you see sites that take a long time, a lot of stuff gets stuck in permitting. 
So we're bringing a permit expedite. I think I'm going to bring her too. Her episode of the Land Bank Show is probably going to be releasing this week as well. So we're going to bring Permit Expediter. She's coming with us. Uh, she already she, she already locked in. She's coming. She's probably going to be on the challenge, but she's also coming to um, she's also coming to the auction on on on, on the seventeenth, right? So like we're going to just cover everything. So we might have a couple of tickets left. Comment the word property to grab a ticket. I see we got like four left from the offer. Again, I can't take hundreds at a time because I absolutely want to deliver for every single person. So we got to kind of like separate it. It got to be done in a certain way where I make sure everybody gets delivered. I got 400 properties. I can't develop 400. There's no way. I have to recruit people. I have to bring you guys in. I have to teach others how to do it so that we can truly become neighbors, close the wealth gap. You guys make money, don't waste money. You guys um, close that wealth gap without taking years and years to do it like, like, like Wall Street is expecting us to do. We want you doing it fast, efficient, and safely. Safely meaning you're going to follow my footsteps in the sense that you ain't going to fall in no quicksand. You're not going to fall in no trap. You ain't going to get ripped off by no contractors. You ain't going to get stalled out in, con in permitting. You ain't going to get stalled out in zoning. I'm going to recommend you guys use the same people to pour your concrete that's pouring mine. I'm going to recommend the same people that's doing my electrician to do yours. You get to see me do it, do it like directly behind me and build. And it's super easy. All right. It's super easy. It's just that we just don't really be knowing how to do it all the time. That's just the reality of it. Um, Lynette, I'm gonna post the link for you right now, Lynette. <clears throat> Who else we got going? Who else wants another round? Who else wants another round? All right, guys. So look, uh, we had enough time for those that are in the challenge tomorrow, 8 p.m. We going back at it. We going like we just going in like straight up, straight up. We just gonna get started. What's your credit score? Where your credit at? How you, how you doing on your credit? You over this amount? All right, we'll go and go and get the funding. Let's go get you enough money to get funded. I already showed y'all today how you use plastic and you can pay for everything, right? So now once y'all doing that, now y'all already know, y'all already know, especially if y'all was in the challenge of mine before, you already know I'm going to have y'all getting properties before we start. Like that's a no brainer. What We already, we mastered that. I'm a, but I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a focus in some areas that we have not focused on before, okay? So that's the difference between this challenge and the other challenges that I've done in the past. This challenge is going to focus in areas that we have never focused before, where it is the appreciation levels are much higher, and it's like hyper-focused to monetize quickly, all right? Not knocking any other company or area, the process is the same, and you guys will all be able to dominate wherever you go. But um, I'm ha I happen to be developing in three areas at the same time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys everything that we're doing in those three areas. All right, comment the word property. There's the link. You guys will get the link, <clears throat> and I see a lot of you guys joining right now. I see a lot a lot joined again. Congrats again to everybody that joined. Um, let's go. Let's get it. Tomorrow, 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. We are going in. Tomorrow, 8 p.m. We going at it uh, directly with the challenge. Um, we start in credit. So if you need credit repair, let's go. If you need funding, um, be on that call tomorrow if you bought your ticket. If you need, so we got credit repair tomorrow. We got funding. If 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 out of the people, if out of the first tranche. Y'all already set? I could actually, and the challenge is for Juneteenth, right? I can, it starts in June. I can actually start with acquisition two months early for y'all. Now, once y'all get a property, and this challenge is going to be different because there's no limit to how many properties you can get. Yes, we go into a whole different region where you guys are going to be able to get properties. We go into an entire different region, all right? <laughs> we, we're going where I know y'all got properties in, in, in the Midwest. I know y'all got in, in, in uh, where y'all got, where y'all got properties at? Where do y'all have all y'all properties? 
some got Arkansas, some got um, Michigan, some got Pennsylvania. A lot of y'all, all right, we're going different. We go with just some of y'all got your lakeside stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Respect to the lakeside properties. Um, that day is going to be epic too. Respect to the Midwest, respect to Arkansas, respect to it all. But this challenge is going to be like truly different. They get better and better. And if you're in one before, I highly encourage you get into this one because this one is going to be more me. It's going to be more time with me. A lot of y'all said y'all wanted more time with me. This is an opportunity to get it. I'll see y'all later. Until next time, those of you that are in, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Those of you that want your tickets, I'm going to post the link one more time. I'm posting the link one more time. Jules, you got to get in, man. We'll discuss all of that. I have a builder on. I'm going to have a builder on. So don't even, like, it's just a no-brainer that I bring a builder to discuss all of this stuff. I'm going to show you what I'm building. I'm going to show you my plans. And then I'm going to show you, um, then I'm going to bring the builder. I could potentially show my plans right now. Let me see if I can get into my email. Let me see if I can show y'all what some plans look like. Because no, it, it, the reality of it is, man, nobody be sharing this stuff. So I feel like if I don't share it with y'all, who, who, who's going to share it with y'all? Who's going to show y'all plans, right? What developer y'all know is going to show you exactly what he's building? I know it ain't going to happen. I'm going to give you real short. Uh, this is the site plan. This is what the plans actually look like. This is the landscape plan, right? It's drawing out the maple trees, the crepe, the myrtle, uh, the trees, the shrubs, all of that stuff, right? Then you have your uh, your foundation plans. Man, I'm a t I can't wait to teach y'all about this. I can't wait to teach y'all about this. Man, I can't wait. Because I learned a lot of stuff from here. Look at this. I, I'm, I'm going to teach y'all some stuff. This, right, this is the foundation stuff, right? This is showing how deep you go. This is your rebar and everything. I'm going to show y'all some stuff on this foundation plan. Y'all going to be able to, to, to y'all going to be able, somebody asked me about an estimate, right? Oh, y'all can't see my screen. Let me share my screen. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, I believe this is it. There we go. Here. Sorry about that, y'all. I had to make sure y'all can see my screen. Look, I'm gonna take it back from the top. Um, I just love teaching, honestly. Like it's a pleasure to, to just serve people the way that I do. So these are, this is a site plan again, right? It, it's, it's just a site plan. Um, then you got your landscape plan, right? There's your driveway and all of that, your porch, whatever. Then this is the one that I love. This is this is how you get your. I can't teach y'all right now. Like realistically, I ain't gonna teach y'all ev everything like right now. But this is the one you really, really need. This one we gonna go deep on right here. All right, this this right here we gonna go deep from from a development perspective. We are gonna go deep, right? Um, undisturbed soil. I, I'm. I, like, it's all here for y'all. It's all here. Your rebar, right? As per code, you got to have the rebar. I'm going to teach y'all this stuff. Y'all are going to be like developers leaving this challenge. It's going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, so I'll show th that. That's where you get your takeoff from. All right. Uh, I'll show y'all more of the plan. This is the floor plan. So you actually get to see like bedrooms, kitchens, porches, dining rooms, and stuff like that. Your notes, these are your contractor notes. Contractor to locate the water heater and HVAC units at the site. All your notes are here for the contractor. This, the plans actually are like the guidebook for the contractor himself. It's telling the contractor what to do, how to build. Um, this gives more to the naked eye or people that don't know how to build. This is called your elevation, um, the exterior elevations. This is the picture of the property that's being built. This is the back, right? The rear elevations. The elevations are like the pictures of the property. And then you got, um, you got the house itself, 
right? This is the side, the right elevation from the right side. And this is from the left side. All right. Now, I know y'all never saw plans and I know y'all don't know how to read these plans. It's not hard. It's not easy. This is your electrical plan. Um, you have to know what you're doing. Okay. And when you know what you're doing, it becomes so much easier to have conversations. It's five days we'll let, but if you start now, you get all the way up until you get all the way up until it starts, right? Last time I'm gonna post the link, guys, because y'all got me in here teaching challenge stuff, and it's way too early to be teaching. It's, it's like we 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 gonna start early, <clears throat> so you're gonna get taught from now until June 16th when it starts. Then five days. I want it to be so easy for us. And once I get to 500 people, I'm stopping. How much would you say we need to develop? Um, just comment the word property. Comment the word property. I will answer those questions. All right. I'll answer them questions for you. Comment the word property. All right, guys. So I think I showed y'all enough. I hope y'all got a lot out of this. Hey, I'm going to um, post this. I'm going to post this on YouTube. If you enjoyed this, if you got something out of it, like, subscribe, share it. Because I really think like this one, 500 people developing step by step, understanding how to do it, watching me do it. So don't think you can't. And um, I'm a, I got some crazy info for y'all. Banks going to tell you you can't do ground up construction. They're going to tell you you can't. First thing they're going to say is how many did you do so far? First thing they're going to ask you, and you ain't going to be able to answer them, right? That's it. You, you're just not going to be able to answer them because you ain't do none. I got the answer to that question for you. All right. Comment the word property. Comment the word property. Stop, share, then share it. Oh, if y'all didn't see it, oh, I, uh, it should be on YouTube again. It'll be up on YouTube in like probably like an hour. But guys, have a good night. Uh, we got to get in the office tomorrow. If you get a call about the challenge, let's go. Um, let's get in there. Like, like we're not playing. I want to take 500 this time. I want to develop 500. Um, we, yes, we're going to go to an auction. I'm going to show you how to develop. I'm going to show you how to acquire. I'm going to show you how to buy before the challenge starts. That's kind of simple and easy. Um, I got 400 from the one place that I really want us to go to. So thanks for joining. Um, for those of you that's in the challenge, we're gonna get lit. We're gonna get live tomorrow, eight o'clock. Like it's actually it's starting, but not starting. Again, I'm a. What's up, Gerald? Gerald, click the link. I just put. I just pasted. Click the link in the chat, Gerald. I'm gonna start it, but not start it. It starts on the 16th for five days. But if you join now, if you join now, we just gonna start anyway. I'm a cheat. I'm going to get y'all lit before the whole thing starts. I'm going to just cheat straight up. I'm going to get y'all lit before the challenge even starts. We are not taking more than 500 people. I'm telling y'all right now. We are not taking more than 500 people. I want to serve. I want to serve you guys in a way that this is your last challenge. I want this to be the last real estate. Um, yeah, you can, Corey. You can. Of course you can. Um, it's more... It's just more education. It's more education. We need the education more than anything. So it's more education. Yeah, you can join if you're part of mentorship. Yeah, you can join if you're whatever the case may be. Sometimes I mentor once a week in certain groups. Um, sometimes it's twice a week. Sometimes I give a bunch of extra information. But yeah, grab the information. Grab the step-by-steps because it's only going to help you grow, right? Again, we have to connect, grow, and cash flow. Y'all know my motto, connect, glow, grow, <laughs> connect, glow. Connect, grow, and cash flow is the motto. I'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you for joining. Um, I'll see you next Sunday. We're going to do another webinar next Sunday. So hop in, um, just shoot, shoot, shoot me a DM or whatever if y'all need more information on the webinar, but I'm going to do them every Sunday just because I want to make sure that I'm teaching and um, and we just going crazy with it. Every time I try to get off, somebody else buys a ticket. Every time 
I gave y'all the link, right? I just gave y'all the link. Buy your ticket now. Um, I'm gonna stop the upgrades too. I'm gonna stop the upgrades. You, you buy a platinum ticket. I'm not gonna be doing upgrades like that because I don't have the time to be going from 99 to whatever and all of this stuff. I'm gonna stop the upgrades at some point. All right. Um, let's go, y'all. Talk to y'all soon. Have a good night. Have a good week. For those of you that got to go to work, good luck tomorrow at work. For those that don't, um, I'll see y'all in mentorship because we ain't got to go to work tomorrow. Some of us just getting passive income from real estate. We got our group on Monday uh, for the challenge. We got 8 o'clock tomorrow, and I'll see y'all soon. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Later.